Hello, I'm Richard O'Neill, storyteller and author, and I'm reading you the book Robo Horse, and we're now on to chapter 43, and we start off in the voice of Clara. I felt so helpless just watching Roman trying to keep Robo Horse alive whilst the timer ran down lower all the time. Suddenly, Chris burst back into the shed with a screwdriver and started to undo a plate underneath Robo Horse's head. Roman perked up, so did I. Chris now had the panel off. He was taking the old part out and putting a new one in. The timer was now showing less than a minute as the seconds counted down. Chris dropped the screwdriver and Roman scrambled to pick it up for him. Roman. I didn't dare look at the timer. I knew we were almost out of time and Chris was doing his best, but he was under pressure and it was getting to him. He'd already dropped the screwdriver and now he couldn't get the old part out. Let me try, I shouted in desperation. I didn't know where the strength came from, but I yanked that part out with so much force, it left my fingers and landed on the other side of the shed. Chris quickly put in the new part. Clara, I could see that the new part had gone in, but it didn't change anything. The timer was no longer lit. I saw Chris put his hand on Roman's shoulder, shake his head and say, we tried everything we could. Roman shook his head and started crying and flung himself on Robo Horse and through his tears said, no, 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 while hugging our friend. I burst into tears too. Chris. I felt sorry for Roman, but I'd done all I could. We could always make him another horse. Well, not even that, just strip out all the electrics on this one, replace them, fix the head or put a new one on it. I'm sure we could get it fixed in time for the race if that's what he was so bothered about. I was just hugging Robo Horse and crying and trying to think what I was going to do without him. Who would have done this to him? I knew who, the Pond Street Pony Club. They knew we'd win and they tried to make sure we couldn't run the race. Well, they've succeeded in that, but they wouldn't get away with it. I swore revenge on them right there and then. I heard Clara's voice. My mum was coming to the bedroom. She seen what had happened. She's going to bring me down in the car. As much as I liked Clara, I didn't care if she came or not. I didn't care about anything anymore. I heard my mum's voice and felt her hand patting my back. Oh, Roman, I'm so sorry. Oh, Roman.